Now let's see how we can uh, configure the text editor itself. So far we've configured the environment that is like I want a special or specific rather Python version and I want to be using something specific for my text editor. So one of the uh, cool features of Codespaces is that this dev container.json file is where you would go to change the text editor configuration specifically. You can see here at the very uh, not at the very bottom, but like uh, line 41, we have a couple of extensions installed. So if I wanted to install something specific uh, for uh, an extension here, uh, that would need to happen uh, right here. So uh, in here we have VS Code PyLens and we have uh, Python as well. So that's that's really neat. Uh, we, we want those. Uh, if you wanted a, a separate extension or more extensions installed for anyone that opens these, you will have to have those extensions installed here and defined there. So um, actually, let's just go and quickly uh, open up the extensions and find uh, there's one for Python black for reformatting. So let's take a look at that. So Python black. Uh, so the black formatter is this one. I'm going to click on this one and it is a formatter. It, it has 45,000 down, downloads. So say, for example, if I wanted to be using this one. So what you want to know is you're going to uh, scroll uh, to here and get that identifier. Do you see that identifier? It's kind of tricky to get. Uh, you'll scroll to more info and then the identifier is MS Python black formatter. So I'm going to select this, copy that, and then uh, see that it's um, uh, that is not installed in code spaces. You can click here and you'll install it in code spaces. But I'm going to go ahead back to the dev container JSON, uh, edit this uh, JSON file, and I'm going to put MS Python black formatter. Immediately we'll get we'll get this notification. We've noticed a change to the dev container configuration. Rebuild the container to apply them. Now I'm not going to rebuild right now because what I want to do is also do this uh, other uh, thing, which is to uh, change, you, you see that PyLint is enabled, linting is enabled. I want to change, instead of PyLint, I want to uh, change for uh, Flake 8. You can see here that Flake 8 is already installed. Uh, it is already available at this path. And we, can, we can quickly verify that uh, that, that is installed. Uh, we're gonna run it. And you can see that uh, Flake 8 is in fact installed. We can say dash dash help, there's help. Perfect, that path works. So what we can do here and change, this is going to be, I wanna say Flake 8 enabled, I'm gonna say it's going to be true. This can be a little bit, a little bit annoying because I'm, I'm making changes and I don't want to rebuild reaches right now because I'm making several changes. PyLint is enabled, uh, I'm going to say false so that uh, we are enforcing the Flake 8. So linting and Flake 8, which is a different Python linter, I'm gonna save this. And yes, now I want to rebuild, and now let's take a look at how that's going to work with these extensions installed. So a couple of the things that we did, we installed, uh, not installed, but we enabled the linting for uh, using Flake 8 for our files. We disabled PyLint and we uh, looked for, search for this uh, Python extension. It's called a black extension. It's a reformatter uh, or formatter for Python code. And we found the identifier and we changed that in the configuration file. So let's wait until this, let's wait a second until this completes. And then we'll check uh, our changes in with our VS Code editor. All right, so this has completed and our code space has been rebuilt and already we're seeing a couple of things. We're seeing that uh, main, my main directory with my underscore init file is red. So let's quickly take a look at what's going on there. I'm going to um, hover over this line 15. It seems like it's problematic and let's see what happens. There you go. Expected two blank lines found one and it's, coming from Flake 8, you can see the error code is E302. There's no quick fixes available, that's fine. I know exactly what I need to do there. Uh, what I need to do is uh, do that, and then that goes away. Uh, so that's that's pretty, uh, pretty neat. Uh, actually, there's all kinds of different things. If I do that, you can see immediately I'm getting into trouble. Indentation, well, that's coming from Jedi, which is a different extension, but uh, you can see that, um, 
the DC is uh, very, very useful. I'm going to uh, Flakeade is also on the fine name Augie <laughs> because I change I change that. But the the cool thing is that I'm setting the expectation, the configuration by default that anyone that opens this code space is going to have Flakeade enabled with uh, the exact extension they want. Speaking of extensions uh, specific for the Python language, um, let's check the extensions here and look for uh, black formatter which is what we chose, uh, is this one right here. So I'm gonna click there and you can see that uh, it's now not prompting me to uh, install it. It is, uh, I can now uninstall it or disable it or switch to a pre-release version. So this is essentially installed for my editor. So this came from, if you remember, to the dev container JSON and I went to uh, scroll over here to the extensions. I say I want a black formatter and now black formatter is already here. It's already installed. So uh, let's actually take a look at this. Once installed uh, black formatter, so we can say um, it's it's already it's already there and we can uh, format on save if we want to do that or we can actually try to enable it and see how it works. So that's it. That is how you configure your environment. Again, let's go back to the dev container that JSON, um, not the environment, but the actual text editor. You have uh, linting enabled. And this is, I, I touched on Python, but this can be essentially anything else. I mean, we you saw that the, some of the configurations were for Java. Uh, if you're using Java, that's that's fine. These options will, will be slightly different. But what you want to concentrate here is the possibilities of further configuring how the text editor is going to behave, what types of extensions are going to get installed, and what type of specifics, language specifics for development specifics are going to happen when you are uh, running the editor in code spaces.